Hey everybody, Jam Creates here, driving home from work. Um, wanted to do a quick video on my drive home here uh, and just mention an interesting situation that uh, just kind of verifies like some of the things I've been saying. Um, you know, I've said all along that uh, I don't expect this to be a long video. Of course, whenever I say that, then I always go for like 20 minutes. Um, I always say that, you know, I always talk about, you know, good interactions and how that can help spur on uh, success commercially for comic creators and things like that. And I myself literally just went through this um, as the consumer uh, end of this, this type of thing. And let me just, I'll walk you through it real quick and explain how this works. And I don't know why this is so hard for some people to understand. Uh, but here's the deal. Here's what happened. I posted a review of it came out on a Wednesday, uh, issue five. I believe it was issue five. Um, and one of the things I talked about in there, there's a short uh, little story um, featuring this character, Log, who is a log. And he's like a protector of the woods, which of course makes sense since he's a log. Um, and it was, I really, enjoy, I liked the artwork. I thought the character, I just loved the concept of the character. Um, and I liked what, what they did. It wasn't a lot. It was just a, a quick little bite just to kind of like whet your appetite, I guess, for more. And it worked for me. Um, I definitely wanted to see more. And uh, the people, well, Log, I don't know if it's Log himself who runs the Twitter account or the people who make the book. Uh, I'm going to assume it's the people who make the book. Um they tweeted at me about the review and they're like, Oh, we're so glad you liked log. Keep an eye out. He's going to be in more issues of it came out on a Wednesday in the future. And I was like, sweet, cool. I'll keep an eye out. And a funny thing happened. Then I was re so, you know, I have this, this wonderful, you know, I had a, a good, a good, um, experience of reading a story involving this character. And then I had a, a cool interaction, a nice interaction, friendly interaction online. And, then I'm reading Midnight Mystery, uh, which I'll be doing reviews of. Um, spoiler, I love it. Um, that's I'll get into the specifics when I do the reviews. Um, but I'm reading Midnight Mystery, and there's a big full-page ad uh, for Log, the adventures of Log um, in giant in giant comics, right? And there's a website, and there's a picture of Log, and it's talking about his adventures and stuff like that. And it's a fun little ad when you see it. Um, well, it's not a little ad. It's a full-page ad. But um, it's a fun ad when you see it, you know. And it was funny because I looked at it, and I was like, oh. I'm like, there's actually already, like, I guess, like a big Log story out there already. Like, that's cool. You know, I, I liked what I saw in It Came Out on a Wednesday, and had a, a really nice interaction with the, um, creator on Twitter, and here is this ad now, um, telling me that I can order this book, so I said, you know what, here's the website, I'm gonna go on the website, what the heck, so I go on the website, and I look, the book, it's right there, I mean, it was certainly not hard to find, um, it's the first thing there, and the book was 60 pages, and it was like two dollars for the book, I believe. So for like two bucks plus shipping. So all total, I think it came out to be four dollars. I'm getting a sixty-page book with this character that I enjoyed. Honestly, I didn't even look in it that much closely to see if is it an anthology? Is there a sto other stories in there as well, or is it all just like this, you know, log adventures or whatever? You know, and um. I didn't even look at it that closely. I just saw the price and had this this great interaction with the creator and enjoyed what I saw already and said, I'm in, I'm doing it. I'm going to pull the trigger on that. That's not like it's a ton of money. Uh, so I'm going to do it. And it's funny because, so now they got my money and my book is shipping out and I'll be getting it when I, you know, when it gets to me. Um, and I'll be, I'll be sure to show you guys when I get it, I'll show you what it looks like and, and. I'll review it, I mean, once I read it. Um, 
but it's just really funny because this is literally textbook of how this stuff should go. You know, I... Now, granted, this is tech... You know, listen, all of this is hinging on the customer being interested in what you're selling in the first place. You can't make someone who doesn't want to read comic books suddenly go out and spend money on a comic book. That's very difficult to do. But if you have someone who is already amenable to reading comic books, who already likes comic books, and you were lucky enough, you know, you got this this uh, short in an anthology that a customer that customers are reading, and then you're online interacting with that customer, saying, "Hey, you know, glad you liked it. He's there's going to be more of him if you're looking forward to seeing more of him. There there will be more of him." And then in another book from Alterna, I see an ad for this thing. And so I went to the website and made the sale. They literally, I mean, that could not have gone better for them. That literally, I mean, that's literally textbook of how it should go. When you have a product that someone wants and you treat them well and you make it accessible to them, guess what? They're going to give you their money. This is really not rocket science. This is the part what I don't understand about how so many of these mainstream, you know, we, you know, we call them mainstream, but honestly, they're, they're really not mainstream anymore. But they are the mainstream comics. They're the big names. They're the brand names. The way that they're doing business is just so absurd. It doesn't make any sense. Like, these guys handled everything perfectly, and now they made another sale. And guess what? If they put out, like, a log miniseries on, you know, from Alterna or something, I'm going to buy that, too. So, anyway, this is just a quick little video. I just wanted to explain the basics of the economics of comics sales and advertising and promotion and whatever and how that can work to your advantage not just, you know, paid advertisement, where there was paid advertisement involved in this case, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, what really sold me was the interaction. And then finding out through the ad that there was another way to support these guys, I was ready to do it. You know, I wanted to do it. So anyway, let me know what you think about this. If you've ever had a similar situation where like, it's just been obvious you made the sale because you wanted to, because these people treated you the right way. Um, let me know what you think about this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, of course. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Um, all that good stuff. Um, maybe I'll even put the link for the, uh, the book I bought. I'll put that link in there uh, in the description. We'll see if I get to that or not. Um, but anyway, uh, hit the bell for notifications. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at jam underscore creates. And I'll talk to you guys soon with another video. Uh, I got a bunch of comic reviews coming, so don't worry if you thought last week was something when I was filled with comic reviews. Just wait. You ain't seen nothing yet. There's more coming. All right. So I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.